Sawa Banane family, we see you, we honor you, and we value you. Your gifts, along with God's grace, allow us to persevere, to mentor, and prepare new leaders as we co-create for future generations. The Proctor Conference is where future meets legacy. We are committed to the forward crusade of faith, equity, and reparatory justice, nationally and globally. We are the place where Ubuntu becomes reality. Your gifts to the Legacy Campaign enables our success, our sustainability, and secures the future. With vision, by faith, and through action, we are the Proctor Conference. I'm so grateful that there is in this world something called the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. You've been on the wall doing the work. Sister Iva Carruthers and so many others, you represent the best of our faith. You represent the faith of the black church, the conscience of the American churches. Thank you for the work that you do. Family, the time has come to work the roots. The roots of Sam DeWitt Proctor, Gardner C. Taylor, Pauli Murray, Bayard Rustin, and the list continues. As the mission of the Sam DeWitt Proctor Conference continues to shape our ethos and worldview. Join us today by committing an annual, one-time, or recurring gift to the SDPC Legacy Campaign. We pray that you and your loved ones have been and will remain the benefactors of God's grace and mercy. Thank you. Proctor family, happy holidays. We just wanted to remind you that registration for the 2022 Samuel DeWitt Proctor Clergy and Lay Leadership Conference is still open. We are getting ready to gather around the theme, envisioning something new. Can you see it? Please plan to join us virtually February 19th through the 26th. You can go to our website sdpconference.info to learn more about the conference and to lock in your tickets today. Please register soon for the best available rates. We hope you have a happy and safe and healthy and blessed holiday season and we hope to see you in February for the 2022 Samuel DeWitt Proctor Clergy and Lay Leadership Conference. Good morning, Proctor family, and welcome to the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference service of weekly prayer and song, the Proctor Prayer Demic. Today is Friday, December 31st, and whether you are on Facebook, on YouTube, or any other social media outlet, we are so thankful that you joined us this morning for prayer. We would like to invite you to visit our website, sdpconference.info, and we'd also like you to receive text message updates from the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, and you can do so by texting SDPC to the number 84576. We promise we will only use your number for sharing information. And if you know anyone who does not have access to the internet, please let them know that they can listen to the service today at noon and 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time by dialing the number 909-318-7011. And family, we want to remind you that the registration for the 2022 Samuel DeWitt Proctor Clergy and Lay Leadership Conference is still open. Please go to our website to learn more about the conference and register as soon as you can to get the best rates available. Thank you so much. And now to our host, Reverend Dr. Susan K. Smith. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning on this New Year's Eve. How are you? We are so glad that you're here. We say to you, Sal Banani, we see you, we hear you, we respect you. You are important to us. And we are celebrating that we all made it to the end of this year, to the end of a year which has been difficult and traumatic and, and all kinds of things. We made it through, not without some bumps. There are some who suffered loss, deep losses, tremendous losses in this year. 
Uh, the economy has been bad, so many of us have suffered and struggled economically. COVID-19 just will not go away, and some of us have lost loved ones to that awful, awful virus. But you know what? In spite of all of the stuff that's going on, in spite of the crazy politics of this time and, and space, we made it to this day. And so we pause and we say, thank you, God. We pause and we say, thank you to God for our to God for being God and to our founders, the founders of the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference, the Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright Jr., the Reverend Dr. Iva Carruthers, our General Secretary, and the Reverend Dr. Frederick Douglas Haynes III. We also give honor to the Vice Chairperson and the Co-Chair of the Board of Trustees, Bishop Leah Daughtry. All of us are because all of them are. So we stop and pause and give them thanks. You know, I. My call to worship today stems from this whole, comes out of Kwanzaa. I listened to Greg Carr on his uh, classroom with Greg Carr the other day, and he was talking about Kwanzaa. And you know, we've all heard the breakdown of this, the, the principles of Nguza Saba. We've all heard it, but there was something about the way he was talking about Koji Chagalia the other day that made my soul sing. He said, and I'm paraphrasing, but he said, we don't have to talk. We don't have to 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 take and and ingest and accept what they have given us. We have the power to determine our own lives, to determine our own destiny. We don't have to think like they want us to think. We don't have to talk like they want us to talk. We don't have to like what they say we should like, and we don't have to dislike what they say we should dislike. We are who we are because we come from a strong people who have always determined who they were. Our people decided a long time ago that they would not accept the, the the God of the white person, the white people that made it seem that we were the scum of the earth. No, we came from a land, from a people, from a culture that knew God as the lover of people, the, the God was the lover of all whom God had created. We knew we were special in God's eyes. So when they wouldn't let us read the Bible, when they thought, when they prevented us from learning how to read and write, and they tried to fill our minds with all this stuff that made white supremacy the God and not God, we rejected it. We have been determining who we are, who we will be, and who we and who we always have been. We have been doing it from time immemorial. And so my uh, my call to worship this morning is the principle of Koji Chakalia, that we are who we are. We should stand on that. We should celebrate that. And we should honor God with that in the Bible, in the book of Isaiah. Um, and the book of Isaiah chapter 43, the prophet says, forget the former things, forget the former things, forget them, forget them, do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. This is the word of our God, our God who has walked with us through some difficult times, through the middle passage, through enslavement, through uh, reconstruction, through Jim Crow, through the civil rights movement. Our God has always been there with us and held our hands and has helped us to determine who we would be in spite of the oppressors around us, Kuji Chagolia, in the name of Jesus. That's my call to worship on this day. We are honored on this last day of this year to have as our prayer warrior, our own Reverend Tiana Webb. She began serving at the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference nine years ago as a seminary intern and is now the Director of Missions and Programs at the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference uh, in Chicago. She earned a Master's in Divinity from the Chicago Theological School where she studied as a Reverend Dr. Jeremiah A. Wright, a legacy scholar. She also served as a Peace Corps volunteer in Ghana. And then she went on to earn a master's degree in international development and a certificate in African studies as an urban fellow at the University of Pittsburgh. We know her as this very brilliant, um, just a, a brilliant young woman. We also know her as the mom of uh, Hanaya and Toussaint and the wife of Dr. Torian Webb. We know her as a sweetheart who don't play. She don't play. If she has to get something done, she gets it done. She is just a joy. And so we are honored to have her take us to the throne of grace on this last day of this very challenging, challenging year. Our minister of music today will be the Reverend Eli Wilson, whose music always, always takes us to another level. Um, he was with us from the very beginning. And so how fitting is it that he takes us out of this year? So we ask that you just, you know, remember Kuchi Chagalia and lean forward, incline your ear toward the Lord and listen to our prayer from the Reverend Tiana Webb. 
and our music from the Reverend Eli Wilson, hear ye them. morning, family. I am honored um, to be praying with you all this last morning of the year. And uh, I just want to extend an invitation as we look forward to 2022 um, for registration for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Clergy and Lay Leadership Conference. We are going to gather virtually, safely, um, February 19th through the 26th. Please plan to be with us. 
And if you have a young person in your life, a college student, an aspiring HBCU student, please know that we have an extra two additional days on the conference, a special leadership institute just for them. So it's a conference for all. Um, please plan to join us. Uh, and secondly, uh, before we pray, I would be remiss if I did not give a shout out um, to the sweetest thing that I have ever known, my husband, uh, the soon-to-be Reverend, the Reverend soon-to-be Dr. Tarian Webb. Um, today is our anniversary, four years of marriage, um, and I could not be more honored to be sharing the journey of love with him and to be celebrating love with you all in extension of our family. Um, so I'm grateful. I'm grateful for this morning. I'm grateful for this space. Let us pray. Loving God, we gather in prayer on the last morning of 2021, a year that for many of us was like any other. We gather to pray on this last morning of 2021 to center ourselves in your presence, to be in virtual community in the midst of an ongoing pandemic. Lord, we gather to pray on this last morning of 2021 as COVID cases and COVID deaths continue to climb during this global surge. We gather to pray as child COVID hospital hospitalizations are rising. We gather to pray as climate warming trends globally continue to accelerate as sea levels rise. We gather to pray as extreme weather events continue to unfold. We remember this past year, Lord. We remember the cross-country storms and the multiple hurricanes and the wildfires and the regional freezes that caused infrastructure grids to fail. Lord, we gather to pray on this last morning of a year like no other. Because for many of us, we are sad. Our sadness is heavy as we are remembering those we have lost this year. For many of us, our questions haunt us because if we're honest, Lord, sometimes we don't know where you are after almost two years and five and a half million lives lost during this global pandemic that is now reaching new heights and breaking new records. Lord, we have questions. We gather to pray because our grief remains. And even though Black Lives Matter protests have moved from the streets into deeper infrastructure, organizing uh, arenas and policy arenas, the absence of real justice remains. Criminalization continues. Racism is alive and well. We gather to pray because our frustrations and fatigue are overflowing. The culture of violence in this country is taking a real toll as over 20,000 people have been killed by guns in this country this year alone. Lord, we gather to pray. We gather to pray because there is no better place to take our sadness and our questions, our frustrations and our fatigue, our grief and our anger, and then to a God who is big enough to hold it all. We gather to pray on this last morning of 2021 because although we have anger, we also have anticipation. Anticipation because as we prepare to gather around the conference theme, envisioning something new, we believe that something is on the other side of this. We believe that you are doing a new thing and you are working through us. Although we have experienced death and uncertainty, we have also intimately known your grace this year. And although we have experienced disruption after disruption, God, we gather to pray because we have felt you slow our pace. You, God, have made room for rest in our lives this year. You, God, have made room for love in our lives this year. You, God, have made room for family in our lives this year. Lord, people have mattered to us more than ever before this year. And although we have experienced anger and disappointment, even towards this administration and the last one, although money has been tighter, 
Although jobs remain unsteady, you, O oh Lord, have remained faithful. We have had what we needed to make it to this moment. The last morning of 2021, Lord, you have provided. In a year like no other, God, you have brought us through. So we gather to pray, to remember this year, to retake hold anew of the lessons that we learned, to gather our memories and refuse to drown in doubt, in anger, in frustration or fear. We gather to pray, Lord, because we are grateful. We are grateful that during the second year of the pandemic, you kept us alive to see the last morning of the year. We're grateful that during a year where health disparities and misinformation and racism and politics continue to collide, Lord, we did not get lost in the commotion. As our elders might say, Lord, you kept us clothed and in our right minds. We gather because we're grateful that in a year that began on the heels of terrorists attempting to inflame the fragile democratic project in this nation, Lord, the days that stretch across the calendar year have been forgiving towards us, God. You have given us space to breathe. Lord, you have given us space to heal, to tend to our inner gardens, to sit beside still waters, to exit from the noise and the nonsense of all when we needed to the most. God, you restored places within us in 2021 that would have remained hidden without the disruptions and without the separation. And so we come to you to pray this morning on the sunset of a year like no other to say that we believe you, Lord. We believe you even when the world gives us two years of a pandemic. We believe you even when justice is delayed. We believe you even when we don't see a clear way out. We believe you even when things must change. We believe you are who you said you are. So, Lord, we just want to say thank you. Thank you for keeping us. Thank you for leading us through. Thank you for life, breath, and for strength. Thank you, Lord, for that, for all that you have been pushing us to learn, to see, and to know in this past year. Thank you for the opportunity to live in a world that we never imagined. Thank you, Lord, for trusting us with a story that you wrote for our lives for 2021. Thank you for giving us grace to see the lessons. Thank you for trusting us to see the good. Thank you, Lord, for giving us this last morning of 2021, where we have the opportunity to stand hours away from walking into what you have for us in 2022. In this next season, we will see the things that we have been praying about. In this next season, we will meet a greater depth of our faith. In this next season, we will know without a doubt that our being is enough. And so, Lord, on this last morning of 2021, and on the sixth morning of Kwanzaa, illuminating Kaumba creativity, we believe you. We thank you. And we seal this prayer lifting up the genius of our family throughout the diaspora and across generations, people of African descent who gave birth to life-giving and sustaining practices through Kaumba. We seal this prayer breathing fresh life into the ties that bind our ancestors' stories with our own. We seal this prayer knowing that as they made it through, so will we with Kaumba. We seal this prayer with a yes. Yes will be our posture in 2022. Yes, we still believe. Yes, we will go and do likewise. Yes, we will tap into the divine that is already available through us through the work and the wisdom of our ancestors. Yes, we will embody Kaumba. Yes, there will be challenges, but my God, yes, there will be joy. Unspeakable, unshakable, indescribable joy. Yes, yes, yes. We pray all these things in the name of our Savior, our guide, our great teacher, our friend, your son, Jesus the Christ. Amen and Ashe. If I can't see your hand, I'll trust your heart. If I can't see your hand, I'll trust your heart. Though I 
may not see just where or how you're at work in my life if I can't see your hand I'll trust I'll trust your heart if I can't see in your sight If I can't see your hand I'll trust I'll trust your heart When I have angered you I'll trust your heart Doing what I want to in your side if I can't see your hand see your hand if I can't see your hand I'll trust your heart if I can't see your hand if I can't see your hand your heart. I'll trust your heart. Trust your heart. We, we are filled with joy. Thank you for that prayer, Reverend Tiana. Thank you for that music, Reverend Eli. And you know what? Thank you, all of you, for being here. Because of you, we are. And we ask you um, now that you consider investing in our work. We cannot do the work that we are doing unless we have help. You know, this is a capitalistic society. Everything takes money. Uh, we can love and love and love and have faith all we want, but we have to have the dollars to do the work that we do. And we help people across this nation and across, around the world. So we're asking that you consider investing in our work and it will serve you. Um, you know, people a lot of times don't want to help or do anything because they don't know how it affects them. Every time we help somebody else, it helps us. So we are asking that you consider investing in our work. You can do that by going to the our website, sdpconference.info, or going to Give LaFi um, and look for the Samuel DeWitt Proctor Conference. The world, the people, the congregations, the work that we're doing will thank you and are thanking you in advance. Well, we have come to the end of this year, of this very challenging year, and you have been with us. We cannot thank you enough. 
And we can't thank God enough for keeping us all in our right minds to this day, to get to this day. Whatever it is you have gone through or are going through, know this, that God has brought you this far so you wouldn't let go. And so we thank you. We really do thank you. We thank you for being with us, for sticking with us. We thank you for sharing your gifts. We thank you, those who have prayed. We thank you for praying. And those of you who have brought music, we thank you for sharing that gift. We thank you because without you, this prayer call would never have been. We are getting ready to go into a brand new year and we don't know what's ahead of us. We know there are some difficult days ahead. We know that there are challenges ahead, but we have always had difficult days and challenges as Black people and we have always weathered the storms. So in the spirit of Koji Chagalia, move forward. In the spirit of Koji Chagalia, we say thank you and always remember that you are and we are because of each other, we need you you need us. And together, we're going to get through these crazy times together. God bless and take good care. Bye-bye.